it's in its natural habitat right now. You know, we normally get dealership experiences, but now we have it on the road as if you were a Maserati owner taking a trip. What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where you got a couple of questions, right? Well, I'm at the house of Maserati here in Miami and I'm going to be with a product specialist today to test drive the new 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo Trofeo. We're going to go for a deeper test drive, talk about this car and experience what it's all about, what it's made for and really get the most out of what the next generation GT has to offer. So my spec is going to be behind me here today. So hopefully you guys go on this candid journey, non-scripted. We're just going to talk and drive and really you get a sense of what the Gran Turismo is all about for the next model year. So this is the Trofeo that we get to get behind the wheel of today in beautiful Blue Nobele. Now this is our first time getting Blue Nobele on the channel on a GT. We've seen Blue Nobele before but not on the Gran Turismo as previous model Gran Turismos never got this color. So wow, what a treat to be able to drive this specific spec in the Miami sun. As you guys can see it just glistening, it looks so good. Now, obviously you can see we have the steel brakes, blue calipers, white Maserati script, Brimbos, and we also have Pirelli tires with this setup. Now you also see the Trofeo badge because that lets you know what we're dealing with today. And we also have those black portholes as well. Functional portholes to be fair. Now you can also see the black window moldings, the black door handle here as well. And you will see the Trident with the strike through. The red strike through means Trofeo version. All right. Now this model actually has, or this specific one, because the one in front of us does not, has a carbon fiber lip. All right, so the trunk lip, trunk lip spoiler is done in carbon fiber. Michigan plates because Stellantis, Maserati's parent company, is based out of Michigan. All right, then we see the Gran Turismo badge. We see the two exhaust tips on each side, quad exhaust, dual exhaust, done in chrome. The carbon side blades there as well, and the rear diffuser super glossy and aggressive in that shark fin look. So the carbon fiber when it comes to the Trofeo is on those side blades. You can option out the wing here as well. You have carbon fiber right here on the side sills. You guys can see that that's done in carbon. And then up front you have your side blades done in carbon as well. That's a big differentiator with the Trofeo over the Modena. Also with the Trofeo, you get the more aggressive front lip here as well. And for the Trofeo, aside from the badge in the rear, you'll get the more aggressive exhaust surround when it comes to the rear. Now the interior of the car we're driving today is done in ice ghiaccio. Yes, the white leather all throughout chevron pattern drilled ventilated and heated seats you guys can see we have the rear seats done the same way we have the carbon fiber on the um, cup holder there as you guys can see you guys can also see that we have nero leather we have ice gacho stitching we have the carbon fiber trim on the door and this is also 3d carbon fiber so it's got that wicker basket feel you guys know that that's my favorite Sonos Fiber Sound System, aluminum on the pedals, on the trim, which is illuminated aluminum, <laughs> all right? It, over there, they would say illuminated aluminum, but you can see that there as well. You can see the Trofeo moniker right there in the digital gauges, the blue start-stop button because Trofeo, yeah, we get that for the Trofeo. More carbon fiber throughout the center, eight inch touch screen, 10.25 inch screen, the digital clock, all the good stuff we know about the Trofeo and the Maserati Gran Turismo for 2024, we have it here today. So I wanted to show it off for you guys before we actually got in the driver's seat because really this is gonna be something very intimate for me just getting behind the wheel of this and enjoying it rather than necessarily reviewing it. Right now I just reviewed what we have here today, but that's only to show you what we're going to be in the cockpit of because today I really want to just be inside of the Gran Turismo, just enjoying it in its natural habitat and everyday driving life. So I wanted to do something different today. Since we're at the house of Maserati, we do have something pretty cool on display. So instead of popping the Kofango hood 
of the new 2024 Gran Turismo that we're about to take for a drive, why don't I just show you the Latino engine in its raw format right here in front of you while I tell you about what's under the hood. So we're looking at a twin turbo V6 engine and the Natuno is the MC20 based engine derived from that model. Now with the F1 pre-chamber combustion technology, well, that's gonna be actually, while we're right here, around on this side here, as you guys can see, you're looking at a zero to 60 in 3.3 seconds and a top speed of 199 miles per hour. Now, how do we get there? Well, we have an all-wheel drive, but rear-wheel drive biased, and it is a 542 horsepower twin turbo V6 three liter. So you can see it in all of its glory right here. And wow, now we get to go experience it on the road. All right, all right, so vehicle started. Vehicle started, it starts out in the GT mode, as I was mentioning, there's four modes. The first mode is the comfort mode, which you would have to toggle back for. It makes this, the obviously the drive a little softer in, in far as engagement goes. Right. Better gas mileage, things of that nature. Better compliancy with the ride quality. Then past the GT mode, you'd go into the sport mode, of course, which makes it a little bit more aggressive on the transmission uh, as far as the um, quickness of it shifting, a little more aggressive on the power input, um, and a little more compliant for a more spirited drive. And then okay. you would go into the Corsa mode, uh, which is the final mode, which is um, taking away all of the traction control aids, more of a track day sort of mode that would give you all the power all the suspension and performance qualities that you'd wanted, and along with taking away some of those uh, what we call nannies or, right, or right. driver aids, which would give you full flexibility on how you wanted to drive the vehicle okay. and how spirited you wanted to be. Okay. okay, all right. So we probably should start off and just GT and just... Yeah, well, yeah and yeah. we can change the modes uh, according to the driving. Now, obviously, right. our drive is going to be somewhat Pretty... controlled, obviously, yeah. because we're going to be on surface streets. Yes, uh, and it's Miami, so yeah, you know how it gets out here yeah Absolutely. so we go ahead and put on a brake and put it yep. in the drive modes are right here yep. all the park reverse neutral and driver right here on the dash in between your two consoles uh, we'll go ahead and accept this which will give yeah, us the uh, uh, obviously sense. the uh, all the information that you'd want with navigation the phone the audio and all the adjustments that you would need to make within that interface there all right okay so we can uh, whenever you're ready absolutely What's also really neat about this is it's got a digital rear view mirror. So if you just click that, it shows you what's going on behind you. Right. For a bit of a rear. And I feel like you need that with, you know, visibility. It's a great aid for Absolutely. everything, you know. Um, you know, it's not something that you have to rely on, but it's something that just helps. Yeah, you know? it gives you a little bit of a backup, so to speak, yeah. naturally, right? Yeah, which way would you like to go? We're going to go right here. Please. All right, let's wait for that Audi here. And a lot of times with these, you know, shorter sort of stanced uh, sports cars, you've got a smaller window in the back to see out the back. So right. it's naturally uh, more um, effective to have a better visual. Yeah, 100%. Or at least a backup visual. Uh, yes, the tight rolls here in Miami, yeah. right. <laughs> especially around these parts, you know, with very uh, private entrances and exits. Yeah. Um, uh, this, this heads up display is beautiful. Isn't it nice? Yes. And then we'll go right here. All yes. right. Now, day-to-day -day driving is definitely going to be your GT mode, right? So what we're doing as far as just kind of, you know, moseying along, going to... Publix going to you know Target right you know you definitely the would commuter use, yeah as a commuter <laughs> you would definitely use GT mode here sure um, well what's know. nice about it is is that you can be a little more flexible with the drive modes it's got eight speed transmission you can also use the paddle shifters to right. it into a specific gear that you want to get it in because you got to bang those refs sometimes to yeah, get that okay. beautiful exhaust now right absolutely you want that sweet spot yeah not only of power and uh, available power. Um, responsiveness, but also that tune of the engine. That's right. uh, that's very important. Ooh, and those brakes so bite. Compliment. <laughs> you got a lot of caliper there and a yeah. lot of rotor there to be very um, accommodating to your braking needs. Right, and you need it for you know the amount of horsepower you have here, Absolutely. which is you know a great amount. It's a respective amount. It's something that fits this model very well, especially within the Tuno engine. Yep, 550 horsepower here. 
plenty of horsepower. Very linear feel, nice and progressive. It doesn't have an over-aggressive or reactionary throw uh, or feel to the, to the throttle power and how it delivers it. So it, it's very predictable and, uh, and, and very, you know, overall driver friendly. Okay. Yep. Yes. Even the steering wheel feel, the heaviness yes. of it is it very, is definitely heavy. uh, you know, consistent. It doesn't have a heavy spot or a very light spot. It's very, you know, consistent with that and, and right. predictable as well. Yeah, this is very, very heavy, but it's a great feel. It's not too loosey goosey, you yeah, know. It's yeah. got got a lot of bite to it. Yeah. I love that. Gives a good directional feel to, to have a better understanding and a better what we call feedback through the steering wheel yes. on the seat of the pants, so to speak. Plus, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a wide open lane. Okay. Use that power and jump. Yeah, I was gonna lane. say. Yeah, yeah, so you're in control now, right? Uh, yeah. At this point, we'll do sport. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, you know, of course, there's a little too much for this kind of area. Yeah. Um, and then, so, sport, and then we can do manual. By yep. pressing that, we'll use Absolutely. the paddles. In the sport or the coercive mode, you can automatically go right into using the paddle shifter. Okay. Once it goes back into the GT mode, if, for instance, you forgot to shift or whatever, it'll take over for you. Just okay. in the sport and the coercive mode, you have to be more um, engaging with the uh, the paddle shifters. Okay, that just makes, it's makes total sense. Mm -hmm. All right, hopefully that guy doesn't hang out too long. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a wonderful place to be. Got a beautiful sound system, obviously the Sonus Fabus uh, yeah, sound yeah. system. Eight, 19 speakers. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. 19 speakers. And it's just crazy to think that it's in this small I know, of a vehicle, cockpit. Right? Yeah, that you, you know, have 19. You know, I mean, it's like, where do they put them, yeah. you know? Is amazing. Strategically placed, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Beautiful sound system. There you go. Very nice. <laughs> That's, woo, that is such a thrill. Mm -hmm. Such a thrill. And again, in sport mode, obviously, you feel the bite, you hear it, everything like that. It takes it to another level when you're in Corsa mode, which is just insane. <laughs> wow. Now, not that you would do that all the time, but when you do decide that you want to bang it's there the for you, it's there for Ready you. Ready and willing. This is awesome. Uh, and here comes the good old Miami rain, you know, but this is a all-wheel drive, but all -wheel we're all drive. drive bias. Absolutely. So, you know, yeah. we do have grips um, when it comes to keeping this in the control. Um, and this is when you would not use course and mode because you definitely <laughs> you definitely want that grip. You want all the driver aids you can get. <laughs> yes. So we'll turn on the wipers. Wow. It just sounds so good. You know what I mean? Like, through the cockpit, through the glass and everything from the inside, it's just you, you wouldn't expect it. It's just very well put together. And downshifting sounds just as good as upshifting. <laughs> that bite is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> like when you the, the driving experience when you hit that paddle and you hear the click you just know what's coming yeah. you know what's coming Absolutely. yes look at this rain coming in I this know that's why was, it was raining on my way here and oh, really? I was like how's the weather I asked Kevin I was like how's the weather over there because it's coming down over here but it, it's typical Miami yeah just for a short time yep right? yep that's Florida just come in to make it nice and muggy right? yes <laughs> yeah this is such a cool feeling it's very approachable. I, I've said this before. Like, you from the outside, you you're afraid. You're like, okay, this is like one of those machines. So we're like, I'm gonna have to be very careful over bumps, and I'm gonna have to be hands on the wheel, ten and two, you know. But once you get in here, it's, it's very manageable. You know, even in sport mode, manual mode, I feel like anybody can get in here that's new to a sports car, that's new to Maserati or whatnot, can get in here and drive this. Obviously, there's a learning curve behind the technologies because Maserati has given you so much um, that, you know, you definitely need to learn, you know, where, where's what, what's what. But you can get in here and just start driving the car and it 
does a lot of the work for you, you know, which is really cool. Comfort mode. So for comfort, what do you feel like benefits us the most in comfort mode? Obviously the ride quality. It's yeah. gonna make it a little more compliant for the bumps in the road, softer ride. It's gonna make the uh, transmission a little less aggressive in regards to how it reacts uh, and, the th and the throttle, of course. Right. And just make it um, probably more uh, gas efficient, you know? Yeah. Uh, so better mileage. But just an overall sort of a, you know, a less aggressive sort of a drive and, and approach to it. Yeah, everything is going quiet and, and we're probably just floating. Probably very um, right. compliant for this these conditions with the yes. Brain. yes. Everything is quiet down, everything's super smooth, seems like we're floating, and it just seems like a regular car. Now, when I say a regular car, obviously, you know, just it doesn't seem like a Maserati sports car. And that's, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a great thing because you want to be well rounded, you know, you want the best of both worlds. Um, and you have it here. You have the punch and power and sound, and then you have the quietness, the GT and GT ness of the Grand Turismo. You know, it's a Grand Tour. It's something that you want to be able to drive around um, and in sport. The yeah, feel yeah. Of the performance. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So it's just great that it's well rounded. It's not too much of one thing. It doesn't feel like too big. I can see everything very nicely throughout the back, through the sides. You know, and everyday driving like this, I feel like, again, this is very important to be able to do this, you know. So it's in its natural habitat right now. You know, we normally get dealership experiences, but now we have it on the road as if you were a Maserati owner taking a trip, you know, going to, to the grocery store, going to the department store, and this is what it's like. It's a, it's a great feeling to just be in that driver's seat and that lifestyle because this is a lifestyle it's really cool hopefully the rain decides to disperse for a moment we'll go back to sport but we're gonna stay in automatic and just get up to speed <laughs> just that easily you don't need to necessarily bang on all the gears all the time and still have that punch I do see some sunshine coming up, so maybe we can get one more little blip before we bring her in, but this is this is a good time. And I'm sure it's turning heads. I'm sure it is turning heads as people go by and see this thing. You can't not notice Yes, it. especially in this paint, Blue Nobele, just wow. It's just, the sparkle on this thing is just incredible. It's got a timeless appeal to it. It really does. Yeah. It's it's very curvy, very slick. The lines just, they're, I mean, they did such a great job with this thing. Now, what they call it, they call it um, evolutionary or revolutionary? What would you say? I, I would say that it's um, a timeless piece of evolution as well. Yeah. Um, performance, luxury, of course, and uh, and technology yeah. all built into one yeah you've got an all-wheel drive vehicle now with the uh, updated v6 naturo engine yeah and uh it's it's got plenty of applicable horsepower when you need it and uh, but it's got the elegance and and class of the maserati brand yeah 100 percent very well said that's why i have you you said because i can't say it any better than that that's <laughs> That's the way to describe it, you know, and I think um, once people realize that, then they'll definitely see what this car is all about. What's the sweet spot for you when it comes to the RPMs? What do you feel like well, is a good spot? Well, it, it certainly depends on the speed, but yeah. I, I like to have it, you know, up in the, uh, you know, 45 to maybe 5,000 RPM range to where the, the tune of the engine is up into a level where it really starts to come to life. You yes. Know? Not only does it have a nice sound to it, but it's very, um, it, it, it's very aggressive and uh, sort of, uh, you know, feels like it's got some power to it. Yes, a hundred percent. And it reacts to your input then a little bit more yes. uh, spirited, so to speak. Yes, I had to downshift under that little, yeah. you know, we don't get too many like tunnels here uh -huh. in Florida, so any kind of under overpass kind of thing. Accentuates it. Yes, yes, so you have to take advantage 
So I had to get a quick one right there, but yeah, this is, you know, I, I'm a smiley guy, but obviously you see, you can't wipe the smile on my face when it comes to, <laughs> to filming. It's very natural because I'm in my element. Uh, at the same time, it's a very new experience for me. So, you know, it's like I'm at home, but I got a whole new house, you know, and it's just like now I'm exploring this house and all the goodies in it. and. That's what it is when it comes to driving the Grand Tourism. We call it the House of Spirit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it brings yes. out the best in everybody. It sure does. And like I said, I can't stop smiling. This is such a cool opportunity to be able to do this, um, you know, and just show off what Maserati is doing for the next generation. Yes, I was briefly in a Chofeo before, but it was at a dealership. We just went up and down the street really quick. Oh, nice. Um, you know, did a couple of accelerations. So this is giving me the full experience. Um, you know, and with your product knowledge, again, it's, it's great to hear these things when it comes down to it, you know, and what this car is all about why, while you're here experiencing it, you know. It's one thing to talk about it, but actually be in the midst of it and have your hands on it um, is another thing. So I appreciate your time and your expertise today. Absolutely. That's why we're here. We enjoy the car. And we're Yeah, right here. And we're passionate about the brand and obviously what it has to offer to the consumer. <laughs> Intoxicating. Just that little touch on the throttle. Driver assistance is working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you definitely need it. You know, you don't want to scratch this bad boy up. Wow, this is such a wonderful venue for such wonderful machines here. It definitely complements the uh, experience and certainly the brand. Yes, <laughs> yes. I appreciate everything today. This has been an amazing time. Absolutely. Thank you so well, thank much. you for coming. Yes, thank you. All right, guys. So what did you think? What did you think about the GT drive? That thing, <laughs> you know, I, I can do this day in and day out, but appreciating the car behind the wheel in its natural habitat is just something completely different than what I'm used to. It felt like I owned that car. Like it was mine and I was just out driving it and the joys I would get daily driving something like that is incredible. But you know, with the 205000 starting price for me, that is way out of my range. But hopefully one day after one of these videos blows up, well, then I will be able to experience my wish of owning a Maserati Gran Turismo because, wow, that was amazing. Again, big thank you to the Maserati team for coming out and just showing off what the brand is about and what the next generation is about. And inviting me to have my seat at the table that's been a really cool experience so hopefully you guys enjoyed the gt drive again it was just something to show my passion and thrill behind the wheel um we've done the exhaust videos and we'll do more and stuff of driving exhaust and sounds and stuff like that but today was about my first drive proper drive in a grand turismo hopefully you guys enjoyed it today if you did make sure you give the video a big thumbs up share the video check the links in the description if you want to help further support the channel and make sure you guys subscribe but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video with that said you guys be blessed have a great day we'll talk to you guys in the next ron's rise video peace